Welcome. Uh, what I want to do is show you how to evaluate for the sine, cosine, and tangent of negative 25 pi over 4. And usually what I've done for my previous examples is I kind of, you know, graphed them or graphed our angle and kind of showed, you know, where the angle lied and then how to find the reference angle. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just automatically going to go and find the coterminal angle because I know to find reference angles, I can't deal with negative angles. So I'm going to keep on adding 2 pi. And remember, we keep on adding 2 pi until we get a positive angle. And every single time we get 2 pi, we're going to get a coterminal angle, which means that the, the angles are going to have the same initial and terminal side. So when I add 2 pi, which in this case, since I have a denominator of 4, I can represent as 8 pi over 4. Therefore, when I add 8 pi over 4, I'm going to have negative 17 pi over 4, which is still not going to be a positive angle. So I'll add 8 pi over 4 again which now I'm going to have a negative uh, 9 pi over 4, which is still not going to be positive. So I add 8 pi over 4 again, which gives me now a negative 1 pi over 4, which is almost positive, but just not there. So therefore, I'm going to add 8 pi over 4 again. And now I finally have a positive angle, all right, which is going to be 7 pi over 4. So therefore, if I keep on adding pi's, I get 7 pi over 4. Now, the important thing to understand about 7 pi over 4 is it's an angle between 0 and 2 pi. Therefore, I can find the reference angle of that angle. Now, I do need to understand where 7 pi over 4 is. And without kind of going into a long description, what we know is if I was going to start my angle here, if here's 0, halfway around a circle is pi, remember all the way around a circle is 2 pi. But since I'm dealing with an angle that has a denominator of 4, I can represent this as 8 pi over 4. So I know 7 pi over 4 is going to be somewhere in this fourth quadrant. Because if you're going to break this up into force, we could say this is 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, 8 pi over 4. Now when finding the reference angle, what we're going to do is we're going to want to find the measurement from our terminal side to our um, horizontal axis or x-axis. So you could probably easily just say, well, this is going to be pi over 4. And you know what? Let's just do it. Eh, let, I'll go through the formula first of all as well. So the formula to find any reference angle for any angle in the fourth quadrant is going to be theta equals 360 degrees minus theta. I'm sorry, but we're not dealing with degrees, are we? We're dealing with radians. So it's going to be 2 pi minus theta. So therefore, to change this into terms with a denominator of 4, I have 8 pi over 4 minus my theta, which is 7 pi over 4. Now, when doing my math, I end up getting pi force, which we were kind of easily able to reason over there. Now, it's important, I want you to understand, is why I couldn't use any one of these coterminal angles. I had to use the smallest positive coterminal angle. And the reason being is, notice if you were to plug in any one of the coterminal angles that I found out and plug them in minus 2 pi, you never would have got an a acute angle. And the acute angle is very important because what it tells us is this angle, this reference angle, or I'm sorry, our original angle, by finding the reference angle, those are going to have the exact same coordinate points. Or I can have the exact same coordinate points as pi over 4, which has coordinate points square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 2 over 2. So now, what I can do is, I can evaluate for sine, cosine, and tangent. But we can't forget what in quadrant 4, that our x coordinate is positive, but our y coordinate is negative. So when I go ahead and find sine, all right, so when I go and want to evaluate for my sine function, I can say the sine of negative 25 pi over 4 is going to represent the y coordinate, which is square root of 2 over 2. However, since our, my angle is in the fourth quadrant, that's going to be negative. Then I go and look at the cosine of negative 25 pi over 4. I don't know why I'm using the e there. And that's going to equal the x value, which is square root of 2 over 2. And again, since it's in the uh, fourth quadrant, my x value is going to be positive. Then last but not least, I'm going to use the tangent of negative 25 pi over 4. And the tangent represents the y over the x, but since the y is negative, that is going to leave me with a negative 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate for the sine, cosine, and tangent. Thanks.